The hypervisor blue screen of death, BSOD, can occur due to issues with virtualization settings, corrupted system files, outdated drivers, or improper configurations. Below are several effective methods to resolve this issue. Solution 1. Reinstall Hyper-V. If Hyper-V is misconfigured, reinstalling it can resolve the problem. Open the control panel and navigate to the Turn Windows Features on or off option. Uncheck the Hyper-V option to disable it, then restart your computer. After rebooting, return to the same settings. Re-enable Hyper-V by checking the box and restart again. This process resets the Hyper-V configuration and resolves potential conflicts. Solution 2. Run System File Checker and DISM Corrupted or Missing System Files can trigger a BSOD. Use the System File Checker SFC and Deployment Image Servicing and Management D ISM tools to repair them. Open Command Prompt as an administrator and run the following commands one at a time. SFC slash Iscano, DISM.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. The SFC tool will scan and repair corrupted files, while DISM will fix issues with the Windows image. Restart your computer after running these commands to ensure changes take effect. Solution 3. Update Drivers Outdated or incompatible drivers can cause the hypervisor BSOD. Open Device Manager, expand the System Devices section, and locate the Microsoft Hyper-V Virtualization Infrastructure Driver. Right-click it and select Update Driver. Choose the Automatic Update option to let Windows find the latest version. If a newer driver is unavailable, visit your system manufacturer's website to download the latest compatible drivers manually. Solution 4. Check for Windows Updates. Keeping Windows updated is crucial for resolving compatibility and stability issues. Open Settings and navigate to Windows Update. Click on Check for Updates and install any available updates. Once the updates are installed, restart your computer to apply the changes and verify if the hypervisor BSOD is resolved. By applying these solutions, you can effectively troubleshoot and resolve the hypervisor BSOD error, ensuring stable performance on your Windows system.